took a while to get the adjustments a little bit better on the planter. I've done this every year and the Milo always comes up. I'm just usually late. Hit these uh, steering grease zerks more than pretty much any other ones on the tractor. You know, just because you're constantly spinning back and forth all the time. All right, got the old planter all set to go, lubed up. I have the uh, Milo and Sunflower plates in there. Four rows worth, so let's go cut some Milo. Wow, beautiful day right here. Happy Memorial Day to everyone. Looks like we're gonna have a beautiful one down here in Southern Illinois. So let's get some Milo. Get a little something done and then relax. So a couple things that I think were hurting me last year. This second row in was really tight. So I loosened the chain, I lubed it up. It's a lot better now. So what that was doing was if the three were spinning, I'd have to keep putting down pressure on my top link till that one spins, but then it's pushing the other ones deeper. Did that and then the uh, thing doesn't sit exactly level. So with my three point adjustment arm, I did this with the tiller also and a couple other things. I'm getting used to using it all the time because each implement sits kind of differently. I think I'll have better luck this year. All right, this is the first spot I'm uh, planting. It took a while to get the adjustments a little bit better on the planter. I had to put more down pressure on the back packing wheels because it wasn't really closing the rows at all. So it's doing a little better now. But I've no, I know it'll work because I've done this every year and the Milo always comes up. I'm just usually late. So I'll keep planting. So I previously burned off these spots two different times in preparation for this. So I wanted to plant some more Milo this year and probably some sunflowers as well. That last row unclogged, I had forgotten that I usually keep a fiberglass poker in here while I'm planting. So uh, you got to poke it down and then you got to come up from the bottom with a pocket knife, get the clay out, poke it down until you break it free. So back to four rows, see if we can't get more done.
so far and so tiny. And with an old planter like this, you, you know, it's a little spotty. So let's go try to resurrect the duck pond. If you're new to the channel, the duck pond is a small pond that I created that I can flood. I can plant. like corn, millet, or milo in there in the summer. And then in the fall, I can flood it with like one to two feet of water for a waterfowl. So far, I've been foiled the last few years. However, I do have it prepped this year. So let's go plant some milo in the duck pond and we'll stay tuned to see how it's gonna grow this fall. I can't grow anything else in there because the deer absolutely devour it. But milo is the only thing they don't touch and the waterfowl enjoy so let's get over to the duck pond to get that planted so i'll kill it now and then give it a week or so and see where the level's at i might have to top it off once more <laughs> 